This is how you can host your Discord bots online 24-7 for free using Fluid Nodes. So let's go ahead and get started. So some of you may be using Discloud at the moment, and as you know, they got uh, hacked and raided, and their systems are currently down. So this is an alternative, or if you just need a hosting, this is perfect for you. Uh, so we can go ahead and get started. So go ahead and click the first link in the description below to get to this website. Then go ahead and click Login and go to the client area. Once there, you're going to want to go ahead and register a new membership right here. Go ahead and fill in all of this information you do not need a referral code but everything else you will need after creating the account you are going to be brought to your dashboard and as you can see you have a couple of notifications so go ahead and click on get started here as you can see right here it's going to say that you must verify your email address and link your discord account so to do that what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your profile right here at the top of this what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and click login with discord obviously you're going to want to go to your email and uh, verify it but to do that all you have to do is open up your email to verify your discord just go ahead and click login with discord then after that go ahead and click authorize. After clicking uh, the verify email address in your email, it's going to go ahead and bring you to this page. So what you're going to want to go ahead and do is you're going to go to servers. You are now able to create a server, uh, whereas before this was grayed out. All right, so now just go ahead and create a server right here. After clicking the create server button, it's going to bring you to the server configuration area. So just go ahead and give it a name. I'm going to do tutorial. Um, and then go ahead and select uh, the software slash game. So it's going to give you Minecraft or programming languages. And I'm assuming you're here for Discord bots. So you're going to select programming languages just like that. And then you're going to specify it right here. So either Node.js, Node.js, the TS support or Python. So it's whatever you code with. For me, it's Node.js. So that's going to go ahead and load. And that's going to allow you to select a node you would like to be on. So ideally, you want to be on like node one, um, but you want to also choose the one closest to you. So just choose an available node. It doesn't really matter to be honest, uh, but I'm going to do node two in Phoenix. After it loads, it's going to give you two tiers. So you can either get the free tier, which is what you're here for, or the premium tier. Um, you need credits for that, but I'm just going to go ahead and use the free tier. So I'm just going to go ahead and create the server. After the server is created, as you can see here, all we have to do is go into manage. It's going to go ahead and bring you to the uh, panel login. So go ahead and log in uh, with the exact same login you used to log into fluid nodes after logging in it's going to go ahead and show you this so it's going to say installing if you go ahead and click on that it's going to bring you here and it's going to say running the installer so you're going to need to give this a little bit of time to actually install everything needed to host um, but if this doesn't change uh, in a little bit just go ahead and reload and as you can see it's going to pull up the console and everything's going to be able to be used all right so now comes the part where we actually have to upload the files so if you coded your discord bot like i did on my desktop using visual studio Studio code, you're going to be good to go. If you use Replit or any other online coding source, I'm going to show you how to get your files onto your desktop. All right, so as you can see here, I have a sample bot in Replit. So all you have to do is you just have to download these files. So to download them, you can right click or click on the three dots and you're just gonna go ahead and click download. So you're gonna wanna make sure you have all of the important ones. Like um, if you have a .env, just make sure you download everything, including your package lock and package JSON. You're gonna need that. Just don't download known modules. You will not need that. Um, but do make sure you have um, everything that you would normally have in a coding file. I think you can download multiple. Um, by like clicking here and highlighting them all then i believe you can just go ahead and right click and download up here it's going to say um it wants to allow multiple file downloads so just go ahead and click allow and as you can see everything i highlighted is going to go ahead and download after getting all of this in your downloads all you have to do is just right click on your desktop click new new compressed zip right here and you can just give it a name like whatever you want you can go ahead and open this up and then you can just simply drag these files into your zip um, whatever you would usually have um, and that will create your discord bot file so let's say you coded it the way i did all you have to do is go ahead and open up your bots file right here and go ahead and right click on your desktop go ahead and click new and compressed zip folder so I'm going to give it a name like tutorial zip or something like that. We can go ahead and open this up. And now we're going to go ahead and drag all of these or copy them um, in here. Keep in mind, you do not need the node modules, but make sure you have everything else in here so that the bot can run properly. Once you've done that, go ahead and just close out of both of these files. Keep in mind, this IP is the IP of the node you selected. It is not your IP, so it's okay if you show this to other people, um, but it will be the IP of the node you selected in the server creation process. All right, so now to upload the files, you're going to go up here and you're going to click on files. And as you can see, it's going to allow you to do these. You're not going to select any of these. All you have to do is move this to the side and just go ahead and drag your zip file right onto here. 
After that, it's going to go ahead and put the zip file in here. You're going to click on these three dots right here and you're going to click on archive. After that loads, you're going to have all of these files in here. All you have to do is just go ahead and click on the uh, zip folder right here and just go ahead and delete it. Um, if you accidentally put in anything else that you don't need, um, go ahead and delete that as well. But this is all I need for the slash command package. Next, we're going to go to startup right here and just make sure you do not have console mode on. If you have console mode on, you're going to have to run a bunch of manual commands. Um, to turn this on so just make sure you have this off by default it will be off but just never turn it on so then go ahead and go to console and just go ahead and click start so as you can see it's going to go ahead and start running um, and the cpu is loaded this may take up to five minutes um, because it is processing all of the information for the first time so just give it some time um, and then it will go ahead and work as you can see it did actually load um, it says npm is installed it installed discord.js as you can see right here now because this is a hosting console everything you run in here and everything that has to install in here will take a lot longer than it would if you just did it in your console so just keep that in mind but as you can see it does go ahead and turn the bot on um, as you can see it says the bot is online the uptime is one minute and 13 seconds um, and uh, everything is working down here the network um, the memory is consistent and all of that so we can go ahead and actually close out of everything here the entire browser if we go ahead and open up discord as you can see the slash command bot is online if we go ahead and run a test command just like this as you can see it's going to say the bot is working and it will keep working um, forever unless you turn it off. Now, if you are using the slash command package, you might know that it does have an automatic error catch um, and it will give you a console, but it will not crash the bot. And so what's going to happen is fluid nodes does support that, meaning it will basically act the same as it would if you were running it on your computer. It will not turn off if you have an error. It will just send the informal message as in the slash command package. So if you want to code that, link will be in the description. Um, but yeah, so that is how you get your bot online 24-7 for free if you need any help with this go ahead and join the discord server in the description below and we'll be able to help you out um be sure to leave a like and subscribe comment down below what videos you want to see next and i will see you guys in the next video